Now, one of my best friends, he's a school teacher, and he asked me to come to the school to help him give a talk to some kids that he'd been teaching. I was like, okay, cool, I'll come, I'll help you out. So I get to the school, um, my mate's at the reception to meet me, and then he walks me through the school to the hall where I'm gonna be giving this talk. Now, bear in mind, it's December. As I'm walking through the school, there's posters all over the wall saying stuff like, happy snow festival, enjoy your snow festival. It's snow festival. So naturally, I'm intrigued. I'm like, hey, bruv, um, what's snow festival? I never heard of that. And my mate goes, oh, no, 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 that's Christmas, isn't it? I was like, what? So he goes, well, because the school is so multicultural, we're not allowed to say the word Christmas in case it causes any offense. Uh, and when he told me that, my instantaneous response in a packed school full of kids was, fuck off. <laughs> Just you guys are clapping me, swearing in the school. Yeah, you show those bastards. No, it was, it was wrong. I should have sworn. All right? But I was like, seriously, but I mean, I, listen, I understand we live in a very multicultural world. Right? I get that. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's fine. You know, December 25th, do you want to do? It's not compulsory. But the word Christmas, that's not offensive. It's a holiday season. So like, do they do that for every religion to be PC across the board? You know, so like Christmas, they have snow festival. Or Diwali, they have it's light time. Ramadan, welcome to the Hunger Games. Right? <laughs> you wouldn't say that. Just, just say Ramadan. Also, I watch a lot of news, right? I watch a lot of news, right? But I'm the kind of person, sometimes, like, I watch too much news and I get really paranoid, right? Like, um, I'll give you an example. Do you remember about four or five years ago, there was a, there was a terrorist attack in a shopping center in Kenya? Do you remember this? All right. Now, I'm not laughing at it. Obviously, it was, it was horrific. But what scared me was uh, after it happened, the Kenyan government put out a worldwide wanted alert for who they thought was a ringleader. I don't know if anyone here remembers who it was. It was a white woman called Samantha Luthwaite, nicknamed the White Widow. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> when the most dangerous and wanted person on the planet is a white woman, something is terribly fucking wrong with the world. <laughs> is there no one we can trust anymore? <laughs> Even white women are now a threat to security, right? And I'll be honest, for a few months after that happened, white women were petrifying me. I remember one incident in particular. It was late one evening, me and my little brother, we were on our way home from watching a football game. And we were walking down a particularly dark street, and then I noticed there was a white woman walking towards us. <laughs> I fucking shit myself, man. I... What sort of backwards twisted world are we now living in when two six foot black guys and a white woman by herself are walking towards each other down a dark street and the two black guys cross the fucking road. Yeah. I know, I know. She looks dodgy as fuck, innit? Neighborhood is going downhill, friend. <laughs> 